I live in this street just outside of Birmingham. Here it's as rough as fuck. This big black bloke's just moved in next door. Yeah, Leroy with his 15 fucking kids. He came out, he went, Yo, brother, what's going down? I said, the value of my house, now you moved in, you cunt. Next door, but one, we've got an Indian woman who lives there. She's lovely, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, her name's Shamaj. Shamaj, yeah, yeah, you're a little Indian woman. She's lovely. She's got the corner shop on the end, yeah. Her husband's a bit of a cunt, though. He, he knocks her about a bit. His name's Achinda. <laughs> the second name's Good and Proper. Achinda Good and Proper. He punches his Indian wife every day at 7 pm on the dot. <laughs> what a stick as fucking shit. Family's just moved in over the road, the little lad's called Stanley, his brother's called Stanley, his uncle's called Stanley, his fucking dad's called Stanley. I went, ah, look at that, pack of Stanley's. <laughs> Two jihadi brothers have just opened up a restaurant, a Muslim fucking restaurant at the end of the road, yeah, yeah. It's fucking rammed morning, noon and night. I said to me mate, hey, them cunts are making a bomb, aren't they? <laughs> he said, fuck off, they're making a killing. <laughs> Before terrorism, they changed the fucking world. Cause I remember when you used to get the 52 bus to Stockton. <laughs> Do you remember being on the bus years ago and somebody would leave a bag or a backpack on the seat, you'd pinch the cunt. <laughs> Nowadays, if somebody leaves a bag on the bus, you get off the fucking thing, don't you? <laughs> <laughs>